In honor of the national competition later this month, I'm going to do a problem from last year's national team test. Now, I'm heading off to nationals myself, and, well, i got to talk fast here because I haven't packed yet. Now, fortunately, packing's not going to be so hard for me this year because I'm not bringing any shirts. Because, you know, y'all are bringing me shirts, right? I mean, you haven't been sending me shirts all year. If you're going to nationals now, you got to bring me some shirts. you got to hook me up because, I mean, you've seen what I've done. I've had to go to the bottom of my barrel, my, my shirts. I've gotten some really old T-shirts, and this month I even had to go make my own. You can check it out right here. Yeah, that's right. I, I'm not very creative. So what I did here was I just wrote down a, a, a lot of algebra formulas that I know. Um, and well, what's that? Looks like I wrote down some algebra formulas I, I don't know. Ooh, that's cool. Huh. This is pretty... What? Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Math problem. Alright, so here's the problem. Here's the problem we're going to do here. We have the sum of the 2009 fractions of the form 2 over n times n plus 2. And we're going to range n from 1 to 2009. We want the answer to the nearest thousandth. Got it? I went ahead and wrote down all the fractions for you already because I know you don't want to watch me do that. All right, so we're ready. We know what to do here, right? Eh? Yeah? You're going to bring me a shirt, right? You're going to bring me a shirt because I can't wear this every single week. You bring me a shirt. You bring me a shirt. I'm going to hook you up. Hard right, problem solving pin right there. Just bring me a shirt. All right, back to the problem. Uh, I was hoping that would buy me, buy me a little time and I'd figure out the problem, but... Let's see, what are we going to do? Oh, it's the team round! It's the team round! Calculator! Sweet! All right, this is going to be easy, right? 2 divided by 3 plus 2 divided by, that's 8. 8 plus 2 divided by 15 plus 2 divided by 4 times 6, 24. This is going to take all day. This is ridiculous. Ah, oh, calculators fail. Calculators are for the weak. Uh, hope I'm not going to need that later. Um... Calculators fail. What do we do next? Formulas! And you have formulas for all sorts of sums. I've got a whole t-shirt full of formulas right here. Let's see. Let's try that. No, that's not going to work. Oh, ugh, that's not going to work. That one, not going to... Ooh, alligators. Oh, <laughs> um, no, these, these formulas, these are not, not going to help. Formulas fail. Calculators fail. What are we going to do? Um, Formulas fail, calculators fail. I know what we'll do. We'll do something stupid. We'll just look for patterns. Try maybe shorter sums. Maybe we'll see something interesting. So imagine we didn't have all of these terms out here. Just forget about them for a minute. Then we just have 2 over 1 times 3. That's pretty easy, right? That's just, let's see, that's just 2 thirds. So it's just one term. Now, what happens when we do two terms? So forget all these out here. We would have the 2 thirds from the first term plus... 2 over 8, that's 1 quarter, and that's, this is 8 over 12, this is 3 over 12, you add those two together, you get 11 over 12. 2 thirds, 11 twelfths, I don't see a pattern yet. Uh, imagine we did the first three terms. We know that the first two terms sum to 11 twelfths, so we start with 11 over 12, and then we add on this one, which is 2 fifteenths. And yikes, what are we going to do with that? Um, well, let's see, I can multiply this one top and bottom by 5. We have 55 over 60. This one top and bottom, we can multiply that by 4. And that gives us 8 over 60. And we add those two together, we get 63 over 60, which reduces to 21 over 60. 20. Um, see a pattern? I I don't see a pattern. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm stumped. Uh, okay. Calculator. Fail. Formulas. Fail. Patterns. Fail. Uh, oh boy. What are we going to do? Um, Let's think a little bit about how we come up with formulas. You know, maybe we can invent a formula to do the problem. It sounds crazy, but let's try it anyway. Let's think about how do we make formulas for sums. Well, one way we do that is we find different ways to look at whatever it is we're trying to add up. For example, classic example is if you had the sum, a sum that's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way up to n, and maybe you know this one, that the kind of classic trick to do is to write it backwards. We write it again, we write it backwards. 
and this will be n minus 1, and this is plus n minus 2, all the way up to n, all the way down to 1. We started from n, we go down to 1. And then we add these two up. We have 2 times the sum, the 1 and the n. You add that, you get n plus 1. You add the 2 and the n minus 1, you get n plus 1. You add 3 and the n minus 2, you get n plus 1. So over here, we have n pairs that all add up to n plus 1. So then we divide by 2, and we find out that the sum of the numbers from 1 to n are just n times n plus 1 over 2. That's nice. Now, if we tried the same thing here and just tried to you know, write this backwards and add them, we're going to get a big old mess. So that's not going to work. But maybe we can find a different way to look at the terms in these sums that will help us out. Different way to look. Now, hey, I've got just the thing. i got just the thing to get a closer look at this. You're going to like this. You're going to like it. I've got, oh, telescope. Yeah, we're going to get a really good look at this. We'll get a really close look. And this isn't one of those little chintzy cheap, you know, pirate telescopes. You know, a little sliding scope comes out. Slide it out, slide it back into a little tube. Now, forget about that. we got the real deal right here. This is a big monster telescope. we got to get this in position here. 